It will take a while to reach Moon Base. Let me explain the situation in the meantime. The two of you in particular have been on Elicor for some time and probably know little of what is going on. Please, fill us in. The Earth and the entire galaxy are facing an unprecedented threat. You're not talking about the war with Fendine and Aldean, are you? That is correct. I imagine you are also aware of those powerful bursts of energy? Yes, exceeding magnitude 3, right? They were aimed at Earth. The planetary defense shield managed to partially block the attack, but it still caused considerable damage. It was too much for the planetary defense shield? Yes, and those energy bursts were a message, a declaration of war. Declaration of war? What alien power has the ability to mount such a devastating long-range attack? A new power, previously unknown to us, emissaries of an entity known as the Creator. They call themselves the Executioners, Enforcers of the Creator, come to sentence us to our death. The Creator? Yes. It is not uncommon for dictators to claim divine origin. Their message states that our science has delved into forbidden areas, and thus the Creator has decreed our annihilation. That's insane. Sounds like a plain old invasion to me. We believe that is correct. They are, without a doubt, a power to be reckoned with. They have technology far exceeding our own. So in other words, we better say our prayers. Take a look at this. This is the Earth, and this shows our attempt to use our space stations to trace the route of the energy blasts. Their energy blasts passed through an unknown dimensional space, faster than the speed of light. An unknown dimensional space? Indeed. The blast traveled through neither subspace nor gravitic space. This alone hints at the capabilities of their technology. Shockingly, the energy pulses were released from an uncharted region over 50,000 light years away. 50,000 light years? Yes, the data stunned us. Several of our analysts rushed to get their eyes examined. Have they sent out a fleet? We don't know. If there is one, we haven't detected it. Still, a declaration of war has been made. Surely it will not be long. An attack by a fleet of such power would spell trouble for the Federation. This is bad. So this means Kloss, Vendine, and Aldian are all in deep trouble. Yes, and it seems Vendine was attempting to capture and use the Federation's secret weapon. They would consider any offer of cooperation with the Federation an insult. Secret weapon. Me. Correct. That is what I've been told. Apparently, Dr. Leingod and his team developed you after they detected the Executioner's presence years ago. But frankly, you do not look like much of a weapon to me. How can a man of flesh and blood fight a fleet of starships? Yet it was I who destroyed the battleship Invisible. What? You did that? Yes. Like fate, I too am the product of Dr. Leingod's genetic engineering. I see. Is that so? Only upper echelons of the Federation were privy to Dr. Leingod's top secret research. But if what you say is true, if there is another, then we may have a chance. Unfortunately, our powers are still unreliable. We can't just invoke them whenever we want. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. Neither of us can fully control our powers. Perhaps the late Dr. Leingod placed some means of security on you. Losing him was a great tragedy. Another reason we need to get to my father's lab on Moon Base. Yes, but as I said before, 
The lab's database has already been searched. Don't expect too much. Maybe you're right. When I investigated the lab before, I found no information of that kind. <sighs> if we cannot rely on your powers, we shall have to face the executioners with what we have. Bridge to Commodore. Yes? We have a transmission from Federation Station 9. Give me a display. Right away, sir. Commodore! We're under attack by a group calling themselves the Enforcers! Requesting immediate... Those aren't ships! What are they? Are they gods? We've lost the signal. Report from headquarters. Federation Station 9 has been obliterated. Obliterated? Orders, Commodore? Commodore? Yes. Yes, I know. Maintain our present course to Earth. Not a ship. Did I hear him say what I think he said? What could this mean? I think he's saying the executioners are gods. No god would kill as they do. Whatever they are, I fear we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. Twelve hours flight time to Earth. Okay. Connect me with headquarters. Yes, sir. Connecting. This is the Aqua Ellie calling fleet headquarters. Hermes here. This is Whitcomb, sir. What's our situation, Admiral? You probably already know, but we've lost stations 8, 9, 31, 36, and 42. The enemy has not been identified. But we do know they are, in all likelihood, headed straight for Earth. I see, sir. Our orders? Stay your present course. Other ships are being dispatched to block the enemy. Battleships and combat explorers have already been deployed. 162 ships are stationed around Earth, 112 around Station 9, and 215 around Station 20. Understood, sir. Oh, and Commodore. Word is the Enforcers have already attacked and destroyed Aldium. What? They were the closest to the enemy's point of origin. Though we were not friends, I mourn their loss. The same fate awaits us if we don't keep our wits. It's the most powerful threat the Federation has ever faced. Yet in the past, we've always managed to overcome difficulty. Godspeed, Commodore. Yes, sir. Over and out. We must get to Federation Station Number 5 at once and carry out our mission. Agreed. What are you up to? 
I'm accessing the database over at Line Guard Research Lab on Moonbase. My father's lab? I thought I could get a head start with a remote search, but it didn't work. I know nothing more than the last time I checked. When you checked before, could you show me what you found? I could, yes. Please, I'd like to see it. Okay. We are currently involved in research on special symbols that exhibit extraordinary effects when embedded in the human gene. Although my research is banned by Federation law, it is far too important to abandon now. I'm conducting my research in secret with the help of my wife, Ryoko, Jesse Trador, and Dr. Esteed. Over the past few years, we have successfully developed two special symbols destruction and alteration, the power to destroy and the power to alter. We have selected our own children to be test subjects. Jesse protested, but I believe it to be an even greater sin to use the children of others. Although we are tormented by our guilt, we had no other choice. We have embedded destruction in my son and alteration in Jesse's daughter. There are no signs of rejection at this point. Our research was a success. We've now achieved our initial goal. The next step is to track their development. No way. This is how I first learned about you. I still don't know what purpose your father had in doing this, but I do know for sure that they embedded special symbols within each of us. I wonder how they intended us to use our powers. I'd rest much easier if I knew. We may learn more when we get our hands on the research lab's database. I agree. It's our only hope. Let's place faith in what your father said. There must be something there at the lab. Right.
Federation Station Number 5 is currently under a state of alert. The executioners have begun to attack the surrounding area. You cannot transport directly to Dr. Leingod's research lab. That area is protected by transport jamming to prevent direct access. You'll have to transport to the nearest location, the recreational zone. Right. Do what you must do. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands. Yes, sir. Move out. Door. What is it? The executioners have been sighted. They've already engaged our front line. So they've come. Oh no. We've lost the battleship Sterling, and the Radiant's been hit in its starboard warp core. The Independence has lost its shields! We're outmatched. Displaying executioners on screen. Quickly. What the? What on earth are they? They're not ships. Are those things alive? We've lost the Quicksilver. They've already destroyed 37 Federation ships, and we've only disabled eight enemy units. 24 still remain. They're annihilating us. Gods. This is far worse than I thought. I'm counting on you, kids. Are we under attack? What is that? It's a rock? Where'd that come from? Say your prayers! You ruined our gig! How are we gonna make any money now? It's payback time! Pepita? Pizza? Hey, that's Sophia! What are you doing here? Wow!
What an amazing story. That's why we have to hurry on over to the research area. Pepita, why are you guys here? We came to put on a show. What else? But while we were getting ready, that evacuation announcement came on, and we got shoved in here. I was so mad. I came here to give them a piece of my mind. That's dangerous, you know. You have no idea how serious this is. Yeah, but it's better than doing nothing. I hate the feeling of getting walked all over. It's frustrating, isn't it? Well, yeah. You can say that again. Well, I do know how that feels. That doesn't change the fact that it's dangerous. You need to wait here and leave the rest to us. Can you do that, Pepita? Okay. Intruder alert. Intruders detected within the facility. You don't think they're talking about us, do you? I don't think so. What is that? I proclaim the will of the Enforcers. You are a plague to be destroyed. Is that one of the Executioners? Why are you doing this? The Enforcer shall purify this defiled galaxy. The Proclaimer shall purge the defilement. Prepare to die, irregularities. Looks like we got a tough fight ahead of us. This time it's for real. No laughing matter. Attacking so suddenly like that. You're reckless beyond all reason. Funny to hear you say that. So what do we do? How am I supposed to know? Come on! Come on! Take 
take me with you? I'll make myself useful. I don't know about that. But we can't let her go back on her own. She got here alone, so she should be able to get back, too. That may be so, but... Well, what should we do? Turn her away? <sighs> All right, just behave yourself. Really, Faith? You don't mind? It's a little late for that, don't you think? I mean, you've already come this far. And I'd feel bad if I made you go back by yourself. So I figure at least while we're here, it'd be safer if we took you along with us. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Alright! Cheers, everybody! Just remember, it's only until we leave Moonbase. Just try and stay out of trouble, okay? No problem. You can count on me! Really?
No good. There's nothing here out of the ordinary. Computer, we'd like to browse the database for information on weapons using symbological genetics. No matching data found. Damn! Does the data even exist? Uncle Robert wouldn't lie. The data must be in here somewhere. She's right. Don't give up yet. I know. I know. Computer. Scan my genetic profile and search the database for any matching data. Scanning. Searching. One result found. Bingo! Display. The coming crisis for humanity? Let's check it out. Yeah. My dad and Uncle Robert? They're pretty young, but I think you're right. Mom. That woman on the end? Yes. That's her. This project was initiated as a result of the exploration of the planet Styx in galactic year 752. Styx is an unusual planet on which explorers found the Time Gate a portal that seems to be a sort of time machine. A full-scale study of Styx and the Time Gate was undertaken in 752. The Time Gate is sentient. That was about all we knew about it based on our research up to that point. No one yet knew who had created the Time Gate or for what purpose. However, all became clear after the study conducted in galactic year 752. Never heard about this before. Something this big should have been major news. After an investigation extending over several weeks, we have discovered that the time gate responds to symbological data, and it was recently discovered that when certain special symbological data are sent into the time gate, it is possible to obtain recorded data from the time gate itself. However, Included in these data was information more horrifying than we could have imagined. We learned of the existence of 4D beings. A 4D being? More words that make no sense. Four-dimensional entities, possessing technology far more advanced than our own, including the ability to travel through time. Furthermore, as we continued our research, we found out that these beings may actually have created our universe. <laughs> created? Sounds like a fairy tale to me. Shh, quiet. The symbological technology that we use today originated with these beings. The time gate on the planet Styx was also created by using their advanced symbological technology. We had thought that the time gate was a portal for traveling through time, but it appears we were wrong. The time gate is, in fact, a door to 4D space. Time travel was a phenomenon that occurred as a result of the protective measures taken to prevent us from detecting the existence of 4D space. The 4D universe allows free movement through time, and the time gate tapped into that potential. This was a most exciting discovery. Not only were we able to unravel the mystery of the Time Gate, we were also able to confirm the existence of a new species. But then, something completely unexpected happened. The Time Gate spoke a warning.
Resign thyself. Doctor, the time gate. What in the world? Science in the eternal sphere has advanced too far. This cannot be left unchecked. Eternal sphere? The eternal sphere is the universe as known to your kind. Timegate, tell us what you mean. Our science has advanced too far? Symbological, Symbological genetics is the science of the creator, as is the symbology on which it is based. It is a forbidden art. Your kind has foolishly trespassed into a forbidden domain. There is a danger that this forbidden technology will be turned against the Creator. Thus, the time is near when he shall unleash the wrath of his enforcers upon you all. We were terrified by the Time Gate's warning. The Creator was going to destroy his creations. It appeared that the Armageddon prophesied by numerous religions was going to come true. We asked whether we could escape annihilation by abandoning symbological genetics, but the Time Gate's reply completely crushed all our hopes. It is too late. Even should you abandon your work, another will come to take it up again. Such is the way of your kind. You are contaminated beyond salvation. Your annihilation is inevitable. This is not a warning. This is a sentence. Resign thyself. Resign thyself. Resign thyself. We return to Moonbase, stunned. This entity, beyond our understanding, had proclaimed our doom. At first, we considered reporting this to the top levels of the Federation government. But it was too outrageous. We knew that no one would believe us. Our choice was either to reconcile ourselves to the Creator's wish for our destruction, or to fight to the bitter end. We chose the path of resistance. We would not accept our death sentence. If we are to die, we'll die fighting. Be that as it may, our enemy was the creator of our universe. How could we face an enemy who possessed absolute power? To fight, we needed a tremendous power of our own. We decided to use symbological genetics in an attempt to create a weapon. A human with powers that could defeat the creator. This was our project. Two children were selected to be the subjects of our experiments. I am sure there is no way we could ever apologize enough to these children. No way we could ever earn their forgiveness. People may label us as monsters. Nevertheless, we feel that this research, and this research alone, has a chance of saving us all. These children are our hope. That would be us. The computations we ran on the data obtained from the time gate indicate that the Creator's power is phenomenal. We gave one child the power to destroy, the destruction gene. To the other child, we gave the power of change, the alteration gene. However, we do not expect that the powers of these two children alone are enough to stand up to the 4D being known as the Creator. We believe our survival rests on one thing. We must enter 4D space and defeat the Creator. That is why we have decided to give the next child, Professor Esteed's child, the power to connect space, the connection gene. She will be able to use this symbological genetic power to create a path through the time gate and into 4D space. What?
This unborn child is the key to unlocking our enemy's gates. Sophia, you too? No, it can't be. I... The children's powers will not flower immediately. However, when these three children come together, their different special symbological genes will resonate, and it should be possible for them to utilize their powers. Beyond this, they must learn control by applying their powers in combat. I am planning to talk to the children directly when the time comes, but if something should happen to me, please, whoever is watching this video, let them know. I apologize for asking this of you, but there is a great deal at stake. What we did was inhumane and forbidden by Federation law. We could never apologize enough to our children, the subjects of these experiments. Did we do the right thing? This is a question I find myself unable to answer. I'm sure we'll find out when the final day of judgment arrives. If the children choose annihilation, not to use their powers, then so be it. These powers belong to the children, and it is up to them to decide how to use them. Finally, I have something I want to say to our children. I feel horrible for making you bear this heavy burden. I will not ask for your forgiveness. I only ask that you choose your own path. Think, decide, act for yourselves. Even if you choose to fight, even if you choose to accept annihilation, that is all we, your self-indulgent parents, desire from. I think it had to be us. They believed we could do it. I gotta be honest. I still don't really understand what's going on. But it's obvious our parents left the future in our hands. Our genes have determined our destinies. That might have been true until now. But like my dad said, the choice is in our hands now. Mm-hmm. Time to go meet the boss. To the planet sticks.
We have to say goodbye here. What? No! I don't wanna! Don't throw a tantrum, okay? But everyone else is going. I wanna go too. Yes, but from there we're going on into 4D space. To fight the creator, right? Yeah, because if we don't, everything will end. And I want to fight too. I don't want everything to end. Everyone's fighting but me. Don't leave me all alone here. But it's dangerous. We don't even know what kind of place it is. Yeah, well, but everyone's still going anyway. That's right. Go back to your parents. This is serious. Where we're going is no place for children. That's a little harsh. But it's true. A child that doesn't know what she's getting into will only slow us down. told me before she died. He's a brave, brave soldier. And he's worked his whole life to protect people. My mom always said I'd take after him. Pepita. Miss Maria, if we don't defeat the Creator, everything's gonna end, right? Yes. I don't really understand the hard stuff, but I think I understand what we gotta do. I wanna go. I have to save the Circus Master and Ursus and all the rest. I know what I'm getting into. I don't care if I die trying. Please, take me with you. Pepita, I care if you die. Listen to fate, Pepita. If you're gonna come with us, you have to want to live. Do you understand? Never say anything like that again. What? You can't mean... We're not going there to die. We're going there to live. Understand? Yes! <sighs> what can you do? But you have to get the Circus Master's permission first. Otherwise, forget about it. Huh? Yeah, he must be really worried about you. Okay. Well, all right. I'll go ask him.